Hi everybody, it is October 16, 2017. I just received an email from a subscriber who sent me this link to an interview with Deborah Tavares, the plan to burn up Northern California. And this was posted April 3rd, 2017, but this is a uh, Jeff Rents interview with Deborah. And I believe it's now several years old. It's a repost on this channel. What happened to Deborah Tavares? Nothing on her YouTube channel. Stop the crime. Dot net. Nothing on, no updates on her website. Deborah Tavares, if you don't know who she is, she was very prominent, active, uh, trying to fight the tyranny that we are all now having to suffer on this one website alone, and I do believe she has several, StopTheCrime.net, it is loaded with information um, that all Americans need. They, they, they need this knowledge to understand what we are facing today. So, what, what, where is she? Now, the Subscriber said that Deborah Tavares lives in the Santa Rosa area. And I thought she lived more north. I could be wrong. So if any of you know what happened to Deborah Tavares, I really hope that you leave a comment below. California is an interesting state. And to those who left comments, <laughs> many, many left their Bible quotes along with saying they have no empathy for these people because these people are sinners. They're sinners. I thought God, Jesus, forgave people of their sins. Okay, but they're sinners. They're too liberal. They have, you know, allowed all of this sickness and sinning to go on in California. My God, my God, what, what, what kind of thinking is that? So sick and diseased, so filled with hate, to not have any empathy. And that also includes the animals and everything, as far as I'm concerned, because they didn't mention anything about animals. All of the animals who have died and it seems that they just don't care. And California is so filled with a lot of these leftist communists that don't seem to care much about protecting their own freedoms and their own rights. And they're like, hey, applauding tyranny coming in. But then you have so many in California who are wide awake, active, fighting with everything that they have fighting against the tyranny that we are all suffering. Many prominent in our, well, I don't know, I can't stand this term, truth community, but many are in California. So, um, you know, I, I certainly don't, yeah, California is targeted, I think, one of the reasons is because it provides so much food for all of us. California, agriculture, farming, that's where much of our food comes from. The drought for five years, the, the bullshit claim of, you know, these water shortages, and there is no water shortage. If you just go to Deborah Tavares' site, click on primary water and understand that, that we have an awful lot of water underneath the ground that we can access. But they don't tell you about that. No, they just say, oh my God, water shortage. And, and they have created for us toxic water coming out of our faucets. So we have to buy bottled water that many companies actually get from the faucet. We are getting so screwed. It is it, it just shocking that so many Americans just refuse to do any kind of research to find out the truth. 
the truth about our government officials and our CEOs of corporations, how they are lying through their teeth and just stealing, robbing us blind. And my God, well, there are a lot of people in California who understand that. So you do have to wonder why. Drought for five years, fires, intense geoengineering, spraying of chemtrails on this state. But then look at look at all of the areas around the country that have suffered flooding repeatedly. Baton Rouge, not just once. New Orleans, not just once. Houston, not just once. So I I do hope that you listen to this interview. Deborah Tavares, Fountain of Knowledge. And boy, she doesn't waste a breath when she is interviewed to provide that knowledge for all of us. But please, if you know, if you know where Deborah Tavares lives, if you know where, uh, obviously don't put her address down in a comment, but if you know that she's okay, there are, it's not just me that wants to know. There's an awful lot of us that want to know that Deborah Tavares is okay because she suddenly disappeared. Was she threatened? Were her grandchildren threatened? Were her children threatened? Could be. All links are below.